how should you hold a golf club. Stick around to the end of this video to learn how I like to hold a golf club so you can swing like an athlete. Hey everybody, I'm out here again at beautiful Superstition Mountain and I want to talk to you a little bit about how players hold a golf club and how I feel like you should hold a golf club so that you can give yourself the best chance to swing like an athlete. So let's just talk about some different varieties of grips. First off, the number one player in the world currently, John Rahm, has what I would consider a fairly weak left hand grip. So when he grips the club, you really can't see any knuckles on his left hand and there's, he probably can't see the logo on his golf club. The logo is pointing more or less toward the target. Thumb straight down the golf club. And then his right hand goes on in fairly, a fairly neutral manner. Okay, so generally players who have this variety of grip, you're going to see some, some commonalities and I'll, I'll talk to you about those in just a second. The next type of golf grip would be more of what many would call neutral and that would be where you look down and you probably see two, maybe two and a half knuckles and then the right hand goes on more or less how pointing in the same direction as the club face. And then a strong left hand grip would be turned where you could see all four knuckles. I've even seen some players on tour like Daniel Berger and a couple of others whose left hand grip looks like this where you could see the whole logo. It's more or less pointing back at the camera. And then the, the right hand goes on. Generally with those players, the right hand's a little stronger as well. Okay. Now, how do players match those up to be able to get the face back square? Well, typically a player who has a, a weaker left almost always they have what I would consider a neutral right hand. So their right hand works to hinge into extension and flexion. So it extends like this, which makes the left wrist look a little bit bowed. So we see that with guys like Colin Morikawa, uh, John Rahm, Jordan Spieth, and a few others. Okay, so that's how they're squaring the face up. Now those guys, when they arrive at impact, are generally arriving with the knuckles on the left hand kind of curled under like this something like that to create the lean in the shaft and compress the ball the way they want to. Okay. Now, in my opinion, that's kind of a compromised position for the left wrist. It wouldn't be my preference if I was starting a golfer. Now, if you're already really good and that's how you control the face, then we might not want to change it. Okay. Now, a neutral grip and impact their left wrist is going to look maybe slightly bowed, but more or less flat. Okay at impact, but the right wrist will still be laid back some amount. And a strong grip, like a really strong grip, when those guys arrive at impact, they might actually still have just a little bit of extension in the left wrist. So it won't be flat, definitely won't be bowed, because if they get that left wrist bowed, you know, the face is pointing at their left foot. That's not going to work very good. Okay, so now let's get into how an athlete should grip a golf club and what would be natural. So if I gave you a stick and I said, I want you to walk over and hit something with it. Almost 100% of the time, you're going to see the person hit in this manner with their left hand. Okay. And that's because that joint is very strong when it lands like this. It's not nearly as strong like this. Or if I gave you a tennis racket and said backhand something, you're going to twist your grip on there so that you can hit it and have that joint stable. So my preference would be to have a grip that slightly airs to the strong side with your left hand. So we can hit things with our left hand grip like this. Now this hammering motion is probably not the fastest motion. I can make more speed with this kind of a motion like throwing. When I throw, I don't throw this way. I generally throw more with from extension toward flexion. So the right hand, my preference would be for it to go on where the palm is more or less matching up to the face. So when it extends and, and flexes, the face doesn't really open or close. It just swings the club back and through. Okay. So that would be my preference for the right hand. Now on this glove, we've drawn some lines. I love for the golf club to run right through that space. Most common when I look at players grips, I see them grip it in this manner where the club's running right through their palm and their thumb is going straight down the club like this. This is kind of the, the beginner 
grip. I see it all the time. So hopefully that's not you. And if it is, here's your solution. We want the club to run slightly on a diagonal through the base of the fingers, okay? And then on the right hand, the same kind of a thing. The club's gonna be right at the base of the fingers and wrapped around. Now the last thing I wanna talk about is the different varieties of grips. So there's what I use would be considered an overlap grip or the Varden, okay? Other players who are pretty darn good, like Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods, they interlock. Now, a really common pitfall I see amongst players who interlock is they try to bury their fingers so that the webbing on the pinky and on the index finger on the left hand, they bury them together. Now your grip starts to look like this. It gets down in the palms and it doesn't look right. So make sure the club stays in your fingers and more than likely, the tip of your pinky finger is just gonna barely be touching the webbing on your index finger on the left hand, okay? So if you're gonna go that way, and then I also see players with 10 fingers. There are players who, who grip it with all 10 fingers, but generally they get their hands all the way together. You don't see many who are creating space between their hands, or nobody who I know who's good, because you can't make much speed like that. So get your hands together if you're gonna hold it with all 10. So to review, my preference is to hold the golf club in a way that you can use your left hand in its most stable, functionality so that this joint is not compromised. I don't want you to get hurt. So that's going to require you to grip it in your fingers and with a slightly strong grip. Okay? And then the right hand where the, the palm more or less matches the face. Now, when I grip the golf club, my palms aren't necessarily opposing each other. They can be slightly turned relative to each other because the left hand is turned strong and the right hand is more or less matching the face. Okay? So keep that in mind, you don't have to get your palms where they are directly opposing. So I hope this helps you understand how to better grip the golf club and how to play the game better and to swing like an athlete.